those two states. Well, it's going to hurt it. Well, yeah, I, I would, I mean, I would who's think. who's going to buy a house if they can't get it insured? Unless, of course, they can buy it in cash and they don't care. Yeah, it certainly limits the areas that you can buy homes in. You know, ho homes that are right in that hurricane zone, all of the Gulf communities and the ocean communities in the Panhandle. You're right in the eye of the storm. You know, you're, you're in the bullseye. So, so stay here. Our weather's nice. Right. We don't have any hurricanes. I'm happy with our real right estate. Right now. We just, have, gonna go up, so we just have wildfire smoke from someplace else. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. You know, wildfires in the U.S. are at almost an all-time low right now. I mean, there's barely been a wildfire in the U.S. right now. They had all that rain to start the season out west. And so yeah. this has been great for the U.S., Problem is we're having someone else's problem right now. Right. So yeah. Exactly. Canada's leading export right now is smoke. Smoke. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's our leading import as well. And, and so. We don't want it. <laughs> um, your weather word goes back to that insurance story. This is going to be easy for you. Okay. Good. Okay. Premium. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, He's already got in his head. When I picked yeah, it, I'm like, there. That's, you know, you deserve a slam dunk every Thanks. once in a while. I appreciate that, Jay. So you have I like nice what I don't that. have to think. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, let's take a live look. You saw that live look of the CSU cam. Uh, the atmosphere case not quite as thick today. Everything's starting to improve a little bit. Still an air quality advisory. This goes until midnight tonight for the county scene there. But I got to tell you, we showed that at the beginning of the broadcast. Cleveland, we're down to moderate out towards Ashtabula. The air is good right now. You're in the green. And even down in the Akron, Canton area, down towards Wayne County, it's sitting in the moderate, which is a lot better than where we were yesterday. So the air not bad right now. Temperature is not bad either. We're in the 70s outside, a couple low 80s on the board. But the number that's changed is a dew point. We've got widespread 50s for most of us. It is still humid down in our southern counties, though. That frontal boundary from yesterday is kind of stalled there. So. A little different as you go from Dover and New Philly up to the Canton area. Even you notice it gets drier as you head off towards the north. It is thick and not far south of us. Look at these dew point values mid and upper 70s. That's when you just can slice the air outside. There is some thick humidity as you get down in the Tennessee Valley, and that actually comes back in our forecasts on Thursday, which leads us to our next chance of storms, but not in the near term. Boy, comfortable night. A windows open for kind of night. Finally, as long as you live in a safe neighborhood, we'll be in the 50s tonight. Lots of clear skies. It's just beautiful. We have had a couple pops on radar as expected. Remember, cold fronts don't clear us out this time of year. The moisture lingers, so we are dealing with a little bit of rain. This is a little tiny shower right now getting going just south of Osmondburg, north of Sandy. That's heading along areas near 44 right now. Again, don't rule out, especially our southern counties, a stray shower tonight, but the bulk of the activity down towards Nashville. Look at this line of storms. They've had 70 to 80 mile per hour winds with that rolling right through Nashville right now. That will not affect us. Here's your high pressure. But look at high pressure. It's not clean this time of year. We have rain under the high pressure in areas of Michigan. Just lots of moisture when you get humidity in the summertime. Nothing is a complete uh, clean air mass that comes in. But our next system we're watching is a pretty vigorous low coming out of uh, areas of Canada right now. This one has some spin to it. It's got some energy to it as well. And this will traverse our area on Thursday, bringing us a chance of not just storms, but some severe weather. So let's look at how it involves big picture wise. Notice how storms flare tonight on the leading edge of that. They kind of fade with the sunset. Tomorrow, as we go through the time, we're dealing with more storms out towards the west. And then as this comes into our warm, humid atmosphere on Thursday, pop some pretty good ones. And they're going to be coming in from the northwest. Those often do need to be watched, at least from growing up in Asheville County. I remember those storms that come across the lake can do some business. So Storm Prediction Center has us uh, at a slight risk right now. That means severe weather is likely as we go into your Thursday. So let's talk about it. We're getting a look at our high-res model solution right now. This is our premium product compared to our not so premium product, which is the low res. So here we go with our high res national design mark hour by hour forecast. Beautiful start tomorrow. We're in the 80s tomorrow afternoon. Could we see a stray shower? Sure. Most of us dealing with sunshine and rising humidity tomorrow. By tomorrow night, notice temperatures 9 o'clock. We're still in the 70s. Tells you we got some more humid air around. And here's an early look at our premium product, our high res in terms of how Thursday shakes out. A couple raindrops earlier, and then there come your storm chances. Looks more towards the afternoon and evening. Again, I'm usually not impressed with storm chances. I'm kind of impressed with this. I think we could squeeze out some good storms on Thursday. Humidity stays eh, pretty comfortable and manageable all the way through the weekend. Speaking of weekend, Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. After that front goes by Thursday, my goodness, we finally get a nice weekend around here. Sunshine and near 80 with low humidity both Saturday and Sunday. We're